What's up, YouTube? It's the Action Figure Grader coming back to you with another what to buy on eBay video. That's right, more collectibles to spend your hard-earned money on that you don't need. Before I begin any further, I want to say thank you to Patrick M. He is my latest Patreon supporter. He's been a long-time watcher of the channel. Thank you so much, Patrick, and thank you so much to all of my Patreon supporters. As a reminder, all of my videos come out 24 hours early for Patreon supporters through my Patreon page, which is patreon.com slash actionfiguregrader. I picked a nice wide assortment of vintage collection, some CGC graded comic books and magazines. Uh, I got a few trading cards in here and uh, and some vintage Kenner stuff. So let's go ahead and dig right in. Uh, the first one is a really nice example of the VC-143 Han Solo Stormtrooper. Graded by UKG, it's a graded uncirculated 95. And as you see on the label, it's also got the Hong Kong import sticker. So this is a pretty desirable figure. And I believe over here in the US, it was a store exclusive, but don't quote me on that. Uh, but a U95 is, is about as high as you're gonna get. And here's, here's the back of the card. As you can see right here, it's got the distribution sticker for the Hong Kong market. So for those of you looking for kind of a nice variation, a nice variant, so to speak, for uh, a later vintage collection figure. This is a pretty good deal. Uh, right now it's listed for 149 pounds, make an offer. There's eight watchers on it. Uh, that equates to $173 US, but uh, that's that seems like a pretty good buy to me for a pretty desirable kind of nice variant. It's just hard in the US especially to find those vintage collection with that Hong Kong, Hong Kong distribution sticker. I, I think I've only got a couple of them. I've got the Bo-Katan that I received from Boss Bounty. And then I also, I believe I have either the Shadow Trooper or the Shadow Storm Trooper. I can't remember uh, which one it is, but it's it's on the Star Wars card and he's you know the all black Storm Trooper. So pretty desirable figure, but uh, this is another one that's out there and available for sale. And again, there's eight watchers on that one. Uh, next up, I've got a trading card, and uh, this one is graded by Beckett's, and uh, it's graded 9.5 Gem Mint. The autograph is graded 10, and uh, this is Asajj Ventress, and it's signed by Nick, Nika Futterman. I don't know who that is. I assume uh, that was the voice actress for Asajj Ventress, but this card is only 50, one of 50 that were made. So as you can see in the upper left-hand corner, it says number four of 50. And uh, there's no bids on it yet. It ends in two days and 12 hours, and it's listed for right now for $49.99 free shipping. And so this is one of those ones where I very rarely put auction items up there, but I don't see any watchers on it. But to get a really high grade trading card where it's one of only 50 made, uh, signed by the voice actress, and Beckett is almost impossible to get a 10 with because they're one of the only trading companies. Uh, I think the only trading company that grades it on subscores, centering, edges, corners, and then surface wear. And so overall, it's a 9.5 with a 10 grade for the autograph. That's a really nice item. 50 bucks right now. You might be able to pick that up for at the starting bid price or very close to that price. Uh, next up, we got a CAS 80 grade Luke uh, Skywalker in his Hoth gear. Right now, the bid is $120. That's the starting bid, uh, or it's uh, make an offer. So uh, right now, there's no bids. I don't see any watchers on it. That's a pretty good price for an 80 grade CAS Luke Hoff. And that same seller also has this one with no bids, and there's three days left, and that's the Tebow. This is the no COO version. Usually, there's the Taiwan version. That's the most plentiful, at least over here in the US. The no COO would be like what appeared on the Palatoy Tri Logo cards. It's graded 85 by CAS. It was freshly graded this year. It's got the brand new case style. 120 bucks plus $10 shipping. That's not a bad deal either for an 85 grade Tebow no COO, which is a little bit tougher to find, I've found, at least over here in the US. Um, it, if you don't want that one and you're over in the UK, here's a UKG 85% same score. It's also got the brand new case style. Uh, 8590 were the sub subgrades on this one. Overall 85, and again, it's the no COO version of TiVo. That one's listed for 95 pounds or $110 plus shipping. But again, the shipping cost is a little bit prohibitive for those of us in the US. 
But again, uh, you know, if you're over in the UK, this is not a bad price at all for a nice high grade Tebow. Uh, I, I'm going to bring this one back up again. I'm going to keep pounding the table on this one. This is High Republic, the monster of Temple Peak number one. And uh, this is the first comic book appearance of Ty York, Monster Hunter, Mercenary for Hire. I think you can probably get it for cheaper in an auction. Uh, but this one's listed for $74.99, but it also is make an offer. And, uh, you know, again, I, I think whenever the High Republic makes its appearance on Disney Plus content, and there are rumors that it's coming sooner rather than later. I just read an article on uh, either Giant Freaking Robot or one of those websites that tracks rumors that apparently the live action High Republic series for Disney Plus is coming soon. And whether it's a movie or a series, I don't know. But whenever it does happen, Ty York is one of the main characters within the novels. And uh, she's a great character. She is very much out for herself. And uh, she's a, a she was a Jedi Padawan who left the order uh, to, to basically become a mercenary and, and a monster slayer. So this is a good book. It's, it's a really tough one to get in a 9.8. I think I sent five or six to CGC, and I only got two of them that hit the 9.8 grade. Uh, so just a really tough one. And again, you might be able to pick it up closer to 60 bucks maybe in an auction, but it is making an offer and you never know. But I, I, I think that's a book that you want to get if you're into the High Republic series. Uh, next up, I've got another trading card. This is 2018 Finest Star Wars Chopper. I love Chopper, and it's graded Gem Mint 10 by PSA, the highest grade you can get. It's a great uh, card with Chopper kind of holding his arms up, just like he does in the Rebels TV series. It's $27.99, $4 shipping. That's a pretty good price in my mind for a Gem Mint card. And I know it is a newer card. It's, it's easier to get these in uh, a 9.8 but as of right now this is the only gem mint 10 grade chopper in their population as you can see it says population one so it's probably just because nobody else has sent one in uh, but 27.99 you know psa charges 30 bucks a card now to grade so you're basically getting this for the grading cost and to get it for you know the, the only one on the population report right now for 27.99 that's a pretty good deal uh, next up i got a ukg Hong Kong COO Cloud Card Palette. It's graded 80% with a brand new case style. That is a beautiful figure. We've documented some here recently. There was a, an AFA 85 that sold for over $300. This is a UKG 85 for about half that price, $162.90 plus shipping. Uh, you know, let's call that after shipping costs if you were in the US and you were going to buy this. You know, let's call it roughly about $200. So it's about, you know, two-thirds the price of the AFA example that sold. Now, it isn't a UKG 80%, so it's not like an 85 AFA, but still, that's a pretty good price, I think, for a brand-new K-style cloud car pilot. And again, this is the Hong Kong country of origin. Uh, next up, this is a really desirable one. This is VC104 Lumet, and it's graded 90% by UKG. And we've documented several of these during our vintage collection market updates where they've sell, sold for 100 to 150 dollars ungraded well this one is ukg 90 percent and it's 155 pounds or about 180 us that's a good deal that's a really good deal for a figure that seems to be on the upswing in terms of price next up i've got another trading card this is an sgc graded gem mint 10 Top Star Wars Living Set, Darth Vader. And this is kind of the animated style Darth Vader. I, I like this card a lot. And again, it's graded the highest grade you can get, Gem Mint 10. Uh, SGC is very similar to Beckett's and PSA. Uh, kind of the order in terms of what people seem to like are Beckett's being number one, PSA's number two, although PSA's got the brand name. Beckett's grades the harsh harshest and then SGC would come in below that. But keep in mind that there was an SGC 9.5 Mickey Mantle card that sold here recently. It's the highest recorded sale ever for a trading card. At, I think it was $16.5 million or something stupid. I don't remember the exact number. But it was a massive number and easily set the record for the highest price ever for any trading card in the history of the world so uh, it's not like sgc is some like non-known name brand uh, this seller has he had seven available there's six still available one is sold there's eight watchers on this it's 49.99 uh, 
uh, free shipping. So that's a pretty good deal. And I love the card art on this. It's kind of, you know, very stylized Vader. It kind of looks like Vader from the Rebel series, I guess. Uh, looks fantastic. Yeah, there it is. Darth Vader, Star Wars Rebels. And this is number 278 in the series. Again, it's not particularly hard to find these, st uh, these top Star Wars living set figures or figures, trading cards in a 10 grade. But, you know, you can't beat that price. 50 bucks shipped and there's six still available. Next up, I've got a really nice mint on card Palatoy 65 back D Han Solo in his Hoth gear. And this is the Spanish PVP variant, uh, the pink face version. And you can see on the label there, pink face PVP air weapon. So this has the Imperial Blaster packed into the blister with the Spanish Han. And again, this is kind of kind of the darker blue uh, kind of vest and then the pink face Han. And now keep in mind that UKG graded this 80% with no yellow, yellow blister qualifier. But this one has since yellowed since grading. So you can see that the blister around the edges there has yellowed a little bit. So just keep that in mind as you're looking at it. And another disclaimer for all of these items in my what to buy videos, make sure you vet the sellers. Make sure you look at the item really closely and, and, you, get, and you buy what you know you're buying. Uh, but this is a really beautiful example of a Palatoy unpunched and uh, no price sticker on it. UKG 80%, again, with a yellow blister since grading. But this one's listed for 425 pounds or 494 US dollars plus shipping. The shipping is not through the global shipping program. It's only $21 uh, shipping to the US. So I think that's a pretty good buy. That's a pretty good buy. It's also make an offer. Um, I, I would take a look at that one. That's a pretty good buy. Uh, next up. I've got a CGC graded magazine. This is Star Wars Insider number 203 from Titan Publishing Company. This came out in June slash July of 2021. I've got six different copies at CGC right now and they take forever to grade these magazines. I have no idea what I'm gonna, I could get a 9.0 or I could get a 9.8. I have no idea what I'm gonna get on them. But this is the foil edition, the comic mint foil edition. And it has Grogu with the Mandalorian on there. Just a beautiful, iconic, very simple cover. Uh, right now it's listed for $105 plus $13.80 shipping. There's five watchers on this one. Uh, that's a pretty good buy in my mind. It's tough to get those magazines in a 9.8 grade because they're not easy to press. Um, I, sent, I sent some off to a presser and he said, this was not easy. It's my first time ever pressing a magazine so again i don't know what i'm going to get on mine but uh, I, I did not get the comic mint foil edition this is the more desirable edition i've got three of the ahsoka covers and i've got three of the non-foil mandalorian covers that uh, are slightly different than this one but uh, this is a really nice example 105 dollars shipped and there's five watchers on that one next up i've got a last 17 han solo in carbonite ukg 85 percent a uh, really nice item. This one is listed for 300 pounds, which is about 350 US dollars. They can sell for this ungraded. So I, I think that's a pretty good price. Keep in mind that this is the older case style. This has not got the laser etched kind of dowels that go around the figure. So that figure can rattle around a little bit inside the case. It's a little bit older case style, but still 300 pounds plus shipping is not a, not a terrible price for a UKG last 17 Han Solo and Carbonite. Here's another really nice high grade vintage collection figure. This is the online exclusive 41st Elite Corps Clone Trooper. This is graded uncirculated 95%. So that's as good as you're gonna get for uh, this 41st Elite Corps Clone Trooper. There's the grading label up close, U95 Gold. This is listed for 120 pounds, which is about 140 US. It's also make an offer. And it's also not through the global shipping program. It's only $15 shipped to the U.S. So that's a pretty, uh, pretty good deal there for a nice high grade uncirculated 95%. Uh, if you're going to get Star Wars Rogue One adaptation number one in a CGC 9.8, now is the time to buy it. For whatever reason, this book is absolutely flatlined. And I think it, a lot of it is just because of fatigue. There's just so many new series coming out. The comic market is down generally, but this book has really dropped in price. This was going for 200 to 225 ish just a few months ago. This one's listed for $100 at auction and there's no watchers on it. Also free shipping, it's a CGC 9.8. It's the first comic book appearance of Saul Guerrero, K2SO, Jen Erso, 
and Cassian Andor, just to name a few characters, as well as uh, Director Krennic. So lots going on. Obviously, this month, September 28th, I believe, is the first episode release for the new Andor series. I'm expecting that to be the best of the bunch, with the exception of The Mandalorian, of course. I think it's going to be better than Obi-Wan. I know it's going to be better than The Book of Boba Fett. So uh, if you're interested in this book, now's a good time to get it because it's really come down a lot in price. I've already got this book. I think I paid $158 for mine. So that gives you a good target max to aim for. But I think you'll be able to get it for less than that if, if you uh, watch this auction. There's two days and 12 hours left as of the making of this video. Right now, it's the starting bid is $100, free shipping, and no bids yet. Uh, next up, I've got a UKG 80% for Lom. This is the Hong Kong COO, brand new case style, and it's buy it now for 85 pounds, which is $98 US. That's a good buy. If I'm in the UK and I don't have to deal with the global shipping prices of $31 to the US, this is a really good buy for a pretty decent grade UKG 80% for Lom. It looks beautiful in that new case style. Absolutely love the new UKG cases. Uh, here's another very high-grade TVC. This is Ahsoka Tano Mandalore. Uh, this is graded UKG 90%, VC202. The subgrades are 90, 90, 95. Right now, it's listed for 124 pounds or 144 U.S. dollars. It's only $15 shipping to the U.S. or 13 pounds. Uh, so I think that's a pretty good buy, too, for a nice high-grade Ahsoka. Uh, here's an interesting one. This is... A UKG 85% Boba Fett. This is the re-release from 2018. But this is the European card back. And I've never seen this one before for the later release VC09. But as you can see on the back of the card, it's got all of the warning labels that you're used to for the TVC 1.0 that were released in Europe. Um, so it's got a little bit of weight to the cards. That's the only big negative there. And that's probably what the main driver was for it only getting a, an 85%. But that's a really nice card. That's a really nice card and a, a nice, again, it's a variation that I, I just have never seen for the second release VC09 Boba Fett. Uh, this is listed for 105 pounds, make an offer, uh, which equates to about 122 US. Maybe you get it for 100 bucks or less, but that's a pretty good buy for a variant card. What else do we got? All right, this is another book that I think uh, is worth picking up and I've talked at length about this. Uh, this is High Republic Adventures Annual Number 1. This is the Sketch Edition, and this is the That Dude Books Sketch Edition. It's the first comic book appearance of Bel Zetafar, his char hound Ember. It's also the first full appearance of Porter Engel, Indira Stokes, and I think one other Jedi. And all of those characters are, are very, very main characters. I think Loden Greatstorm, it's also his first full comic book appearance. Five of them have already sold... There's two still left. There's 10 watchers on this. Right now, it's listed for $150. Uh, I would definitely consider this one because this book has got a lot of big first appearances for the High Republic. And uh, this book, I think, will go up. It's one of the best covers as well. It's a store-exclusive cover, That Dude Books. Uh, I love that cover a lot. There's also a color variation, which I actually like that color variation better, even though it was produced in higher print quantities versus this sketch edition. So... Uh, again, it's High Republic Adventures Annual 2021, the That Dude Book Sketch Edition. Next up, I've got a really expensive one, but I wanted to show it anyway. This is the TIE Bomber die-cast vehicle from 1980. Very tough to find this one. It does have a little bit of wear, a little bit of chipping on it. Let's see if we can find the photo that showed that chipping. Uh, right here, you can see just a little bit of wear to it. Not much, though. Not much. But these are very expensive figures. There's a little chip right there. Uh, right here, there's a chip. And I think there's one other spot. Yeah, right here, you can see some chipping around one of the turbines on this TIE Bomber. But for the for the die cast, this is one of, if not the most expensive die cast to get. And uh, this is listed for hundred uh, $825. So it's a lot of money, but it is very, very hard to find this one. There's 15 watchers on this, $15 shipping. It's been on the market for a while now and has not sold, but uh, uh, I just wanted to point that one out. And along those same lines, I'm only pointing this out because it, the price is ridiculous, but it is very, very rare. And that is coming up here in a second. I got it. I got the timing wrong on it. This is an a, uh, a CAS 85, or excuse me, CAS 80 plus blue snaggle tooth, no dot, uh, no dent in boot. I can't talk today. It's 80%. It's got a nice uh, 
case style. It is a little bit older case because it doesn't have, you can always tell the older cases for CES because it doesn't have the date next to collector archive. So it was done prior to probably 2020. Keep that in mind. It's an 80 plus though. Uh, it's listed for $1,100, which is a little steep, a little steep, but it is make an offer. There's 12 watchers on it. The silver paint apps where the blue snags usually gets the most wear. Uh, it looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but it looks pretty good. There's a little bit of rubbing on both feet. There's a little bit of overspray on the left boot at the very top, as you can see there. Uh, a little bit of uh, torso discoloration, a little bit of wear around the belt. So I, I think the 80 plus score is about right. It might be a little high. Uh, I bet if AFA got their hands on this, it might score closer to 80. Uh, but I, I think that's a really nice example and blue snags are really going up in price. I think you can get it for cheaper, don't get me wrong. I think you can get it for a lot cheaper ungraded. But if you don't want to deal with the grading process, this is not a bad option. Maybe you make a low, low ball offer of 900 and see what the seller does. Uh, again, there's 12 watchers on it at $1,100 free shipping. Um, I, I would try to get at least $100 knocked off, if not $200 knocked off. But, uh, you know, the no toe dent is the more desirable one. It's a, it, it came in fewer numbers, apparently. So um, just, just an idea for those of you with deeper pockets than me. All right, now, as I was alluding to a second ago, here's the item I wanted to at least show you. The price is stupid. I, I would never pay this, but there's seven watchers on it. This is the Vintage Collection Mexico Walmart 9-pack exclusive. It's only graded 7.0 on the modern scale. These photos are terrible. But uh, this is a very exclusive Wal Walmart exclusive for the Mexico market. And it was packed in with nine figures, as you can see here. The, there's a lot of damage to the box. It was graded 7.0 on the modern scale, as you can see there. It's also yellowed. The blister's yellowed. So, again... I wanted to at least show it because it's it's a very, very rare item. I would never pay $24,000 for it, but uh, it is, it's really cool to see one of these graded. I've, I've just, I've never seen one period uh, on eBay. I've seen a few like in the vintage collection groups, just people showing them off, but uh, this is a very exclusive item. There can't be many of these out there, uh, but $24,000 is ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to throw some items out there across the entire gamut. We've got vintage collection, trading cards, comic books, magazines, uh, and vintage Kenner stuff that I thought I would show for you guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll be back soon.